Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, June 29th. Today is the day I officially start a full month of traveling around um, Eastern Europe. Uh, I leave today for two weeks by myself. Um, I'm going to the Baltic States, Poland, Ukraine, uh, Slovenia, and then I'm meeting a friend in uh, Munich, Germany. I'm so excited. It'll be really nice to see her. Um, and so today I'm just finishing up moving out of my apartment. I have to finish packing up everything because everything is going with me. I'm not coming back to Spain before flying home to the United States. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as these videos go. Um, I'm not really an excellent vlogger. I feel like an idiot talking to the camera. Um, I don't think I have the personality for it, but I'm going to try. I think I'm just going to try to get a ton of content over the next month of just different things to try to make different styles of videos, try to like grow my channel in different ways. Um, it's just a fun hobby for me, obviously. Uh, I'm not looking to get famous or anything like that from these, but it's just an enjoyable thing and I hope that I can provide useful tips or just insight into these places if you're looking to travel to them. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that I can sustain it for a month because it's it's a lot. It's going to be a lot to be traveling alone, making videos, and then also working. Um, I'm working remotely, so it's going to be quite the challenge, but I'm excited. So July is going to be an intense month. So this is everything. I have my backpack, which is an Osprey 50 liter Aura pack, um, which is completely packed full, and I'm actually checking this bag on all of the flights that I'm taking. Fortunately, I was able to find like budget flights that were really cheap. Um, so then having to pay for a check bag didn't, you know, put me out too much. It is super annoying though that you can't do that, but it is just what it is. I'm moving, so I have a lot of stuff, even though I've really tried to pare down. This is my carry-on bag. I have some oatmeal with chia seeds that I'm going to bring with me just because I don't want to throw it away and I feel like that's just a good thing to kind of have on hand if you have space to bring it and like eventually then I'll have the space in my bag because I'll eat it up and it's just a good thing that I already have some breakfast figured out. Um, those are my clothes that I'm going to be wearing on the plane and then this is like what's left in my room. It's so sad and depressing. Not much. I'm going to bring this jacket I think. I don't know. It's pretty like torn up and disgusting but Maybe just for the colder states, and then I might ditch it along the way. I still have about three hours before I need to leave for the airport, so I'm going to just finish up some things, um, cleaning up my apartment, getting packed, and I'm actually going to go get some Spanish breakfast right now, some pan con tomate, uh, like toast with tomato, because it's my last chance to get it for a while, which makes me really sad. Um, and a lot of people that have asked me if, like, I'm sad to leave Spain, if I'm really sad about leaving Madrid, because I have lived here for two years, um, but the truth is, like, I'm, I'm excited, like, I am sad, I'm going to miss a lot of things, but it's time, I'm really ready to move on, to have another adventure, to move back to Minnesota, I miss my family a lot, um, it's time, but it's been a really great two years. Um, but I'm just not going to be sad because it's over. I'm, I'm really excited and genuinely like I'm happy I'm content with my time here and I think that that's that's a really important place that you need to get to if you move to a new place that you know is not going to be permanent stay there like just long enough so that you don't get so sick of it that you hate it but that you feel really ready to come home and that's exactly how I feel. So, it's fine. Uh, right now I'm gonna go run to, yeah, so to go get Spanish breakfast, and then I'm gonna stop at a fruit store to get some, just some fruit for the plane so that I have something healthy to eat, uh, because I'll probably get something bad at the airport, but then I can kind of supplement it with some fruit, so. Yeah, here we go. And this I'm taking to donate, because it's all stuff that I can't come with me. The hardest part about moving, getting rid of stuff.
McDonald's, but I'm gonna try to resist the urge. I haven't had McDonald's in so long, and I know it'll make me feel terrible, but it sounds really good. Um, it's the next morning. I'm in my hostel in Estonia, and I just wanted to finish off the video that I had made yesterday of leaving Madrid in a proper way. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep doing these vlog style videos, but I'm about to go on a walking tour. I've already made some friends, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and yeah, it's been good so far. Travel, Traveling solo is fun. It's not something to be afraid of. But anyway, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these vlog style videos. We will see. But um, thanks for watching. I hope it was entertaining. Um, I can't believe that I'm not living in Madrid anymore, but it's... It's a new adventure and I'm very excited. So anyway, please subscribe and love you so much and leave a comment and I will be sure to respond. Okay.